Hey guys, this is Dan Otost, and today I'm bringing you part 5 of my Jumpers for Goalposts 4 series. If you have not watched the other 4 parts, make sure to click on the annotations on the screen to go back. In episode 3, I won the league, and in episode 4, I won the cup trophy, and so now I'm in Empower League 1, and still with Barnet, and this is how season 2 went. Let's go! I started the season off by selling my old car and buying a BMW X5, as well as starting a new fashion label. I then got rid of my old custody manager and got this new blonde guy instead, and immediately asked him to give me some publicity. And for some reason, I'm in the negative. Impossible. In my first game, I get an assist, and we end up winning 2-1 to one to make it to first place. Keep that in mind, since we won't stay here for long. I then tie my next game against Ipswich Town, then give my girlfriend a partying gift before dumping her. This does not work, however, as I end up losing the next two games and then tie the three games after that. Although I'm in 24th place against Charlton Athletic, get a chance with a volley in the bottom left corner, and then with the tide, I turn and shoot to win the game, my second win this season. <gasps> to celebrate the fact that I'm out of debt, I go and see a movie with my homies. I must have been too drunk the next two games as I get a tie and then a loss. With one win, oh, I give you a 14th. No, I, oh, I did math wrong. I could be in the 15, let's go. Give me a chance. 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 No, 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 no. Come on. And all that begging and pleading pays off as I end up tying the game 2 2. And now, for the first time since starting the series, I'm dropped, banned from the next match for not training, and so I pretend to train. With me on the bench, they end up winning the game 2 to 1. And we're in 16th place. I then get a new manager. Uh. Gotta show my new boss what I got. Come on. Don't do this. Thing. Don't do. Oh my. What? How does it 3 nothing? Oh, I didn't. Oh, my. I did not do that. So on my boss's debut, I end up losing really badly. Nonetheless, in my next game against Sheffield United, I score two Roberto Carlos free kicks. And I end up winning the game 2 to nothing. Finally. And for the second time, they drop me from the next game. But this time, they end up losing. And despite being benched, I continue saying, I don't want to train. And because I'm not training, I end up tying against Scunthorpe United. And then tying against Torquay United. And now it's time for me to bet on a horse. And because it went so well last time, I decided to do it. And end up losing $9,000. I end up tying against Swindon Town. And it seems as though all is lost until here with the header. I score one goal against Plymouth Argyle. Can I score another? Yes. But what's this? Hat trick for the first time all season? Hell yeah. And I end up winning 3 nothing. However, I cannot keep a win streak going as a tie against Rockdale. And next game, I end up scoring one goal with the volley to end up winning the game one to nothing. No surprise, I'm dropped again, and of course I say, I'm not going to practice. Despite the fact that I'm on the bench, Barnett still wins. No. You know, I'm in debt, so might as well. <gasps> Thank you, friends. Against Hartlepool United, I need a win because I haven't won in a long time. I get the assist to Kaba, making it one to nothing. However, they tie making it one to one. With the volley, I make it two to one. And with my free kick over the goalkeeper, 3-1, to one, and we end up winning. In the next game, I score a volley to make it one nothing. And after they tie, I give myself a pep talk. That's right, 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 that's right. No, I mean, yes, yeah, we scored. So we end up winning the game 2-1, to one, and then tie the game against Ipswich Town. Against Exeter City, I end up scoring, making it one nothing, and that's how it ends. The next game, I make it one nothing before saying this. Barnett is one day going to beat Manchester United for the Premier League. I can see it. Give me a chance. One more chance. I'll prove you right. I'll prove you right. And I lost the game. Despite starting off well against MK Dons, I jinx everything by saying this is going to be a good game. 
and I lose the game 2-1. All right, guys, we have to do this. This is our chance. We were first in Empire League 2. This is Empire League 1. Every single team still sucks. We have to win this. All right, man. All right, man. This guy has huge nostrils, yo. It's even better for this. All right, guys. Let's go do it. Despite that enthusiastic team talk, we end up tying 1-1. Getting dropped again, I say, shut up. I end up tying the next game, and then with a late winner, I get three points against Charlton Athletic. Losing my next game against Preston, I knew my margin of error was really small. And going into Brentford, I knew I needed a win. Passing, getting the header, scoring, winning the game one to nothing. I'm in eighth place. Seeing how I'm only 10 points away, I know I need to beat Wycombe in the next game. Chance for another passing play. Two in a row. Never happened before. One in a row never happened before. Now with the turn and shoot, making it 2-1 to one late. Winning two games in a row for the first time. And as always, I end up tying the next two games and then losing against Sheffield. Next game against Sheffield Wednesday. Scoring the turn and shoot, making it one to nothing, them tying it quickly, shooting the bottom left with a volley, and I'm not done. I want a hat trick, turn and shoot, second time this season, three to one is the score, and we end up winning. Finally, out of debt, I try to celebrate my one game win streak. What? Barnet, the best team in the world. Listen to me. We are 19 points away. We have approximately seven games left. That means we most likely will not get first. But with seven wins in a row, we may be able to get promoted. Let's do this. After another enthusiastic team talk, I end up tying the next two games. With our title hopes and promotion hopes down the drain, I end up scoring and assisting to make it 2 to nothing as we beat Swindon and I get my 100 goals. This comes from 94 matches and also had 14 assists. I then lose my next three games against Plymouth, Rockdale, and Leyden Orient, and then tie against Huddlesfield Town. I then said screw it and went out with the guys for around $1,000. I don't know what you're paying for, but whatever. In my next game against Hartlepool United, them coming out with one nothing, I score the header to tie, assisting to make it 2-1. to one. But I'm not done. Scoring with my free kick, making it 3-1. to one, We end up getting our last win. What? It still says two more weeks. Guys, I'm so, oh my gosh. How did this happen from being first in Empire League 2 and then winning the Cup Trophy to being so bad this season? I'm definitely transferring clubs. Hey, look. Cup Trophy time. Cup Trophy is mine. Guaranteed. Next video, you will see this will be mine. Stay tuned for that. Take care, guys. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I know it was a bit disappointing seeing me lose, but we are entered into the Cup Trophy, so I will do my best to win that. Next video most likely will be a Happy Wheels episode. Let me know what games, other games you guys want me to play. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and until next time, take care. Oh! -ho -ho! Oh. Um.